Yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty disappointed. Me and this guy right here, the Arrowhead Stone, 345 pounds of granite. I set 30 minutes on the clock, set up the HD camera, planned on doing a ton of lifts. Camera actually stopped short. I had 38 minutes of film. It only went to like 13 minutes or so. Anyhow, I was only able to do 21 full lifts with this stone in 30 minutes. The pace really caught up to me. And uh, I felt it the most in the transition from the initial lift to the hip into the standing position with the arms wrapped around the stone. That's pretty much where the, the sticking point became uh, obvious. But anyway, that's, that's the workout for today. This stone, and this is what I did. Just marked it up. Arrowhead lifts, 21, right? I gave it the best I could. And you'll see the video. It's, it's a very simple video. And uh, this is what I'd like you to give a shot. Try something like this. Obviously start with smaller stones. Take your time learning the stones. Don't try to be all quick with stones because sometimes the weight's in a different spot that you don't really expect it to be. So learn them. <clears throat> Take your time. And then do your work. While you're doing your work, pay attention to everything that is involved with the work. Little things like foot placement, hand placement, the inward crush of your arms while you have the stone, you know, that, that compression, that's a big part of it. Don't just lift it, compress and lift, because then you'll have more stability and control of the stone. And, uh, you know, I don't want to ruin it for you because there's so many great things to learn by doing it yourself, so just pick a stone that's lighter than you, start there, if you have some chalk, it definitely helps. If you don't, you're only going to have so many lifts in you, and then your forearms are going to get taxed. But I like it either way. A day like today, I'm definitely going chalk, because I just wouldn't have the endurance otherwise, and I want to see what I can do with chalk. Next time around, we'll do it no chalk. I got lucky today. It's pretty cold out. Jim says 44 degrees. If it was something like 74 degrees, I'd be sweating all over the stone. It would be a horrible experience. It's still horrible anyway, in the best way said, but <clears throat> it's just part of the game. So let's check it out. That's 345 granite, and that was the workout today. You can get very strong lifting stones, and only stones. And by the way, I'm not advocating that you only lift stones. I'm just making the point that lifting stones is beneficial. And it's something that's very practical, so if you can lift something like this, you'll pretty much have a handle on your daily applications, right? I mean, uh, it's hard for me to imagine what else you would, you know, do in your life that would be harder than this. But I'm sure that's up for debate. Anyhow, hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to spread it around to all those who are a little curious about lifting stones and what it might do for them. And again, this is a follow-up video to uh, my short training clip. All right, guys, have a great one. Kite conditioning.